I'm tired of making content. It is your turn to entertain me. And also, I've been wanting to do some audience participation for a while. You know, more interaction with the good old community, and there's a lot of you. Odds are at least a handful have some talent and ability to make things, so earlier in the month of September 2022, I asked you guys to show me some of your talent on the JoeCat subreddit. Special thanks to the user Necromanzier for creating it. Sorry if your inbox suddenly gets flooded and you have no idea what's going on. I tried to message you to let you know the plan, but it didn't get a response back. I hope you're doing well. So now that the month is up, I think it's about time to go through the Joe catalog. Also, you may notice this adorable chibi VTube avatar. Look at you, I've got like flowy ears and stuff. Big, big thank you to Spoiled Chestnut for making this for me, just on a whim. It's amazing. And I thought this would be the perfect time to use it, considering this sort of video kind of warrants visual reaction of some kind. And I don't want to use a camera since IRL me currently looks like a poorly aged PS1 model. I don't know how often I'll do content like this, but if it's something you guys like, I might consider doing it again if there's enough engagement in the subreddit for another. But know that it is completely voluntary and up to you guys. It's not a demand at all and completely separate from the regular content I make. This is seriously so low effort that it does not eat into my other projects at all. I'm just lazy. Also know that just because your post was not featured here does not mean that I didn't like it. I'm just trying to keep this video concise and, you know, pick out the ones that are my personal favorites. All your work is great. So let's start browsing, shall we? This is Sleeping Shack by AnyEnd9830. Joe does a Final Fantasy XIV stream. I sleep. They start leveling Pugilist on stream. <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, so I started leveling Pugilist, aka Monk, in Final Fantasy XIV for the first time on stream, and it had almost kind of been like a running gag that for the longest time I had zero levels in it. That's not me exaggerating, by the way, when you're like, oh, zero levels, you don't level it, right? It's like, no, actually zero. I had not even unlocked it. The jokey lore reason is that Victor doesn't want to hit anybody, but the real reason was because I'm scared of Monk. Or at least that was the real reason for the longest time, and eventually I just kind of like left it there because I didn't ever feel compelled to pick it up, but might as well. You might wonder, well then who's that imposter in the DPS melee video? That was me. On an alt. That was level boosted. Don't tell anyone. Oh, this is Salamantenders by Yaro. Hey, it's Aaron. You guys don't know, Yaro Shien is a fellow YouTuber and friend, and he played Enoch in Necro Hunt. And a couple of years ago, I started this trend called Looters. It was a parody of Hooters, but with fantasy, and it kind of took off on Twitter for a little bit. A lot of people were making, like, their own OCs and Looters outfits, and uh, it was a fun time. I should bring it back. I don't know. I don't know how I'd bring it back, but it was a fun time. I'm very proud of Looters. I even had a mascot and everything. Oh man, I started making a layout for the restaurant. Man, Looters was great. What I was told is an air fryer? I don't know, some strange magic that... Yeah, that looks like my air fryer. Air fryers are great. Air fryers are wonderful. They're the best thing ever. If you don't have an air fryer, get one. So the original sauce is actually relatively good. I say this is a bit more of a smokier flavor, so if you're looking for that big smoky flavor, especially when it comes to... Oh, I do like smoky flavor. I like charcoal uh, grilled barbecue a lot. I know. I know all the propane fans in the comments are going to be crying, but I don't know. Something about that smoky taste, man. Well, it looks delicious. Thank you so much, Yaro. I'm going to have to try this sometime. I have an air fryer. I can do this. Next is some Joe Crap doodles from two years ago by an artist was taken. Oh, look, it's Joe Crap! I cast Fireball. Time to beat up nerds. Oh, and he's watering a little wiggler. Oh, look at his farmer's hat. This is adorable. This is great. I love the expressions. Great cartoony rendition of Joe Crap. Oh my gosh. Oh, and they have a Twitter. Cappy Capital. Do they have more work? Do they have more art? Oh, they do! Oh, look at their D&D OC. Aww. They look so precious. Oh, thank you so much for this art. I'm gonna throw it in the fan art folder. 
Gabo was in my last campaign by BaylorGuy490. I saw Joe Cat's community post and I thought I'd share all of this with you all. Recently I DM'd a Lost Minds of Fandelver campaign for my newer D&D friends, and halfway through the campaign they encountered a small goblin being attacked by bugbears. He was just supposed to be a source of info to guide them to the next dungeon, however the group asked if they could keep him as a pet for their travels. His name is Droop, and the group wizard was his favorite. He would ride around on his backpack and poke his head out to see where they were going. The session after they adopted Droop, I surprised them with a stat block for him and well, Droop. They loved the fact that he was just as adorable as they thought and the PC of the wizard had him by his side the whole time. It was fantastic for RP. When they beat the campaign, my fiance made a drawing of the party, including Joe Cat's Gabo as Droop. Oh, look at the drawing. That's so good. Look at Droop coming out of the bag. That's precious. Also, this art is fantastic. Does your fiance have like a social media? Uh, that they'd like to share or something. I really like this style. Wow, that is amazing. I love this. Droop, small humanoid, neutral good. Armor class 15, wow, that's nothing to scoff at. Oh, Dex is the only good stat they have. Good Droop, Droop is precious. I love Droop. It has begun by Supersonic 12. Wait a minute, I recognize that person. I recognize that profile picture. That's Suki slash Amelia from the Fleur FC. That's the FC house in Imperium, in Ishgard. You can't fool me. Well, where is it? Where's the rest of the video? You can't just tease that and not show me the whole thing. Joe Cat, king of memes, training viewers in his ways by Connect Tumbleweed. What? <laughs> Wholesome post, obscure reference to hijack. Oh my god, I love Necromanzir coming out from the side. Just like, what? That's how it's gonna be. They're gonna check their Reddit and see like a hundred messages. And they're like, what the heck has happened? Man, Kung Fu Panda is a good trilogy. I gotta watch that trilogy again. This post is by Firefox Cheat. This is my first D&D character. And thanks to Joe Cat, it exists because he was the first D&D content I watched. So thank you. Now I'm a dice goblin. Yeah! One of us. One of us. One of us. That is a very cool design. Is that a is that a tiefling or a satyr? I love them. They're very pretty. Very, very cute. And uh, I have a soft spot for dark lipstick. Oh, it's very pretty. Well done. Me, a Joseph, knowing there's another Final Fantasy loving, D&D playing, gender norm breaking Joseph out there actually being beloved internet success. Aww. Thanks. Yeah, rise up, Josephs. I'm gonna do a thing like the Josh fight, like gather everyone named Joseph and then fight for the most superior Joseph. Well, Joe Cat did ask for entertainment. Oh, I saw this. I saw this on Twitter by Ashama the Red. I saw this. They were at some kind of convention just walking around with a Joe Cat uh, sword and shield, or rather, Wiggler sword and shield, not a Joe, but like with the Wiggler head. But like, oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I feel a little bit bad that people start to attribute the Monster Hunter world wiggler head to me more than actually Monster Hunter. Uh, I mean, Monster Hunter, they, they know. They know about me and they know about the wiggler head and they, they seem to be cool about it, thankfully. But I feel bad sometimes. Oh, I love this though. I love this. And the wiggler sword and shield is very, very cool. I have my own wiggler head. In fact, I have two. I've been meaning to give one away, but I always got to have one handy. So I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's about as long as a crap guide video, but Wraith of Doom made a crap guide to Blood Hunter. And I've skimmed it over and they got the cadence pretty, pretty right. Except I have a little bit of feedback on, on a few minor things. Most notably, when he says, uh, when I said nobody cares, Matt Mercer, I didn't mean it. Joe Crap never goes back on his word. Even if he contradicts himself, he meant it. He always means it. He's never wrong. He would probably like reconstrue it into something else and manipulate it because he can never admit that he was wrong because he's too prideful. He is the epitome of arrogance and loudness and I'm right, you're wrong. Sit down and shut up. Luna bops with Jojo Cat. Whoa! Uh, you are very generous in some of those proportions. <laughs> I'm not nearly that buff or um, 
well packed, but I appreciate it nonetheless. This has been a somewhat of a little running joke that I am secretly a JoJo and that Joe Crap is my stan. This is not the first JoJo fan art I've gotten, but it's always nice to see and always fun to see people's interpretations of what my stan would look like. I do like this one. It is incredibly hilarious and terrifying the idea that Joe Crap would pop out of the ground like a like a diglet which by the way yes i have seen the new wiglet pokemon and it is hilariously cursed oh they captured the jojo like harsh black outline style really well i am terrified of what lies underneath that wiggler mask thank you lunabops this post is by xn try x Joe Cat posted a post about posting, so I post my reaction to reading said post. I think we can take this one step further. Here is a post of me posting a video about looking at a post that you guys posted, of you guys looking at the post of me posting a post of you guys posting. Does your brain hurt yet? Oh, this! I saw this on Twitter! This is adorable! This is by Codename Tobias, or Oryx on Twitter, and they turned my little VTube meme art thing into an actual functioning VTuber avatar. And it like moves around and everything. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. I'm having a hard time deciding between that one and this one. It's adorable. Oh, I love it so. And finally, Victoria Quibbles by Alexius Silv. 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 Heard a word certain someone wants some fan art, so I whipped up a quick render of Victor Quibbles with a twist. This is so cute! So if you don't know, Victor Quibbles um, is partly my first d d character that I ever made, like years and years ago when I first started playing and I didn't even have a YouTube channel, but it's also the name of my Final Fantasy XIV character. I have been one who connoisseurs in the gender-bending arts. And uh, I really like this gender bend of Victor. She is adorable. They apparently made this in Blender and Photoshop. I assume they exported the 14 model and then made some adjustments. This is, this is really cool. This is really cool. They even got the proper sword and shield. Ah, oh, that's great. And yeah, those were my favorite posts from uh, the last month of you guys showcasing your talent in the Joe Cat subreddit. Oh, that was fun. It's really nice to see all the hidden talent and skill amongst my audience because it makes me feel like I'm among other artists and memers and just, you know, my crowd. So uh, thanks again for taking the effort to share some of this stuff with me. I, I really appreciate it. Once again, I, I don't know that I'll do another video like this one. I don't want to make it feel like I've lost interest in making original content or that I'm just going to rest on my laurels or that I'm relying on you guys to make content. I mean, you guys already watch my content and a lot of you support me financially, so I don't want to have to rely on you that much more. Uh, but I did want to interact with the community just a little bit more and give some opportunity for audience participation. So if this ever seems like a thing you guys want to see again, well, the subreddit's right there. All you got to do is show me what you got. In the meantime, though, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning, evening, afternoon, or otherwise. I don't know how to do outros. Come. Sorry, this VTuber avatar thing is really cool. I'm just, I just can't stop looking at the other monitor and making faces. <gasps> anyway, video's over. Bye.